Hello everyone, welcome back to Name Hero Guides. Today's guide will go over how to install texture packs in Minecraft. Now, if you don't know what texture packs are, they're packs you can install that alter pretty much everything you're looking at in game. Anything from blocks to tools to mobs, they can really just overhaul your entire visual experience. We're gonna go over two ways to install texture packs in Minecraft Java Edition. The first way is going to go through the CurseForge mod manager, and the second way is going to be without it. But before getting into it, one quick thing to note, later versions of Minecraft texture packs are actually called resource packs. Resource packs are essentially the same thing, they just allow creators to adjust more things like sounds, languages, animations, and more. So if you see resource packs when you're looking for texture packs, know that those are the same thing. Start by going to curseforge.com and clicking get curseforge app. There are a few ways to download it. We recommend just downloading the standalone. It's the easiest, most streamlined way to do it. Download the installer, open it, hit next, choose where to install the software, hit next again, it'll install. With curseforge installed, there are a couple ways to find texture packs, but the easiest way is to click browse. You can use this sorting dropdown over here to sort by featured, popularity, author, total downloads, etc. And you can use these filters to switch between game versions and look for things like medieval resource packs, modern resource packs, photorealistic, etc. So you're going to want to click through the different resource packs and see what they've got going on. Each one should come with a bit of an overview. Uh, they should come with a gallery so that you can look at the different texture changes, resource pack changes, etc. We're going to click filter, categories, and we're going to do photorealistic. We're going to browse through some of the resource packs, and I like this one, Playful 128X. If you aren't aware, when you're looking at resource packs, you're going to see these different resolutions. 128X is one of the higher resolutions. That basically means you're seeing a higher resolution texture on each block. The default resolution textures on blocks in normal Minecraft is 16 by 16. Basically, the higher resolution, the better the block texture is going to look. So we're going to install this one. Seems like a pretty nice, slight tweak on the normal Minecraft experience. Whenever you want to install a resource pack, just click install. Click create new profile. Name the profile. I'm just going to name it the name of the resource pack because it's easiest. Hit create. Okay, with the resource pack installed and the profile created, we're going to go to Minecraft. We're going to go to the profile that I created and we are going to click play. It's going to launch the resource pack version of the game that I downloaded. So now that we've loaded Minecraft, we're going to click options going to click resource packs. We are going to make sure the resource pack is selected. This is the resource pack we downloaded. We need to make sure it's at the top of this list over the default Minecraft resource pack. We're going to hit done. Going to hit done. Now we're going to check if it worked. And as you can see, the wood texture right here is a much higher resolution than the default wood texture. So we know that it installed. Everything just looks a little better. It looks a little higher resolution. Of course, if you download a more dramatic resource pack, things are going to look a little bit different for you, but this is the resource pack we downloaded and it works. Now we're gonna go over how to install resource packs without CurseForge, so let's get into that. Okay, now we're gonna download resource packs without CurseForge. Start by going to a website that's known and safe for downloading Minecraft content, like Planet Minecraft. Then we're going to click on Texture Packs. This one's kind of cool. It's hand-drawn textures using a ballpoint pen. It's an early work in progress version, but I'm still going to check it out. I'm going to click Download. Hit Continue. I'm going to hit Download. Download anyway. And again, know that you're downloading software from a third-party service. Anything can happen, so always be very careful when you're downloading stuff like this. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Open the folder. Right-click it. And extract all. Browse. I'm going to save it in a new folder here just so that it's easily accessible. Hand-drawn textures. 
select folder, extract. Now we need to move the texture pack into Minecraft. So you're gonna start by hitting Windows R to open run. You're gonna type in percent app data percent and hit okay. You're gonna open the dot Minecraft folder. You're gonna go to resource packs. Then you're gonna drag the texture pack that you downloaded into the resource packs folder. Now we're gonna check if it worked. Now the texture pack that we downloaded is for version 1.21.5, which is the current version of Minecraft. So that's all good. We're gonna hit play. Of course, if the texture pack that you downloaded is for a different Minecraft version, you're gonna wanna launch that version so you can run that texture pack. But once Java Edition is open, we're gonna hit options. We're gonna go to resource packs. And we're gonna see the texture pack right here. We're gonna click this arrow which means it's selected. We're gonna make sure it's over the default texture pack, which means that it's gonna launch this one first. It's gonna run this texture pack first over the default one. We're gonna click done. It's gonna load. Now we have to load a world. Let's load this world. Well, it's definitely worked because remember this is an early texture pack, so only a couple things are actually done. Uh, we know the cobblestone textures are here. We know the torch textures are here, but we're gonna just go up and check things out. Here we go. This is all grass. So we know that uh, the texture pack is installed because grass and wood is drawn like a pen. We see that the uh, netherite pickaxe is, the sword, cobblestone, a couple of other things, the iron ingot, the iron ax, breeze rod, emeralds. So this person's making quite a bit of progress with the uh, texture pack here. So you can see a lot of hand-drawn stuff with a pen. So now we know that the texture pack is installed and I can play the game as I see fit. So whenever you want to bring in any new texture packs, you're gonna go back to that texture pack menu and you're going to swap them out just by using that arrow method like I showed. And that's about it. Now you know how to install Minecraft texture packs both with and without CurseForge. Thanks for watching.